Joey the rat. Joey the snitch. Sneezed. Bro. You know, I'm gonna ask you something, bro. Remember when you um made that two hundred dollars that night? Even though I, I I still think you you sucking pole for that money, cause labor ready and you ain't making no two hundred dollars in one day from them. Stop lying. Either you didn't make the two hundred or you made the two hundred but made it the way that you ain't letting nobody really know. So remember that date, bro? You was talking all that trash. You 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 about it, you about the streets, you 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 accountant and you you literally literally bro that night you well morning you literally belittled everybody the one or two fans you had then gone <laughs> you never had no street cred but after that one you 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 got you got street cred put on railway you gotta b- build back up bro you 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 are the epitome of a loser. You are what they was thinking when they made that word uh, loser. They should have they should have said the word loser. It it, it means joy the rat sneeze. That's what it, that's the definition is. They but what what, what is what, what's the definition of loser? They just gonna say joy the joy the rat sneeze. They just gonna have you have your name and picture right there. With those stupid looking glasses on. And those nasty looking teddy bear arms you got. You, 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 bro. I'm doing, I'm I'm going back on your history. Because every time you get money, you think you know everything. Bro, I heard your dumb butt say, you are a accountant. And you know how to handle your finances. So, so let me get this straight now. You say you accountant, but this is the same person now, same person that said, "Screw you and your idea for me to get a studio apartment and save over two hundred dollars." Now. Dum dum, don't you think an accountant would have jumped all over that? And, and oh oh, yep, that's good. My baby girl said you should already knew that. You should already been on that. But but no no no. Joy the rat had a foolproof plan. And I started noticing when you said I'm just gonna struggle a little bit to build my money up. No, what you did is you wouldn't start sending us um, homeless shelters, and you knew, you knew you was going in the whole time. See, bro, it's like people people don't have decent people would know the bull crap in the real life. See, you can't go days without working oh oh oh, you call it off you off a couple days no either labor radio had no more jobs at the present time or you ain't allowed to go to that site and you know this as I know you don't got no goddamn boss your boss is labor ready Boss is labor ready, and and, and and it'd be real, real, be real with you. It is whoever is free to take care of your case at that minute, at that time when you say I'm here to try to get a job. It's whoever is free that's gonna come up to the computer and ask you for your name. So you don't have no boss. You have a sh- uh, a god dang. Labor ready employee handling your um your case or whatever you want to go go try to do. So I'm just going back on your 
history of every time you get money, every time your funky, sorry excuse pussy self think you got money, you think you were goddamn Albert Einstein, bro. You like the coolest thing walking. I never, I never pictured something like this in my life. That a person gets a little money, not even real money, neither, bro. That's what makes it even funnier with you. You do this off of like $50, $60. You'd be happy with it, too. You know, um, throwing, throwing the west side up. <laughs> what is it, 94 95 or something, bro? Throwing your little west side sign up, like, yeah, with your fake rings. I mean, where are you trying? I mean, I mean, bro, you, you, you really have it. You really got it coming for you, bro. Did you know what? Out of all that chaos, you be just saying the N word like it ain't nothing. One case you said, I don't care who like it, I'm going to say it anyway. Because that's what it is. So I'm like, okay. I got an excuse now to really throttle you. Because like you said, I'm going to say like you said, I got a case. So I'm going to have a case to throttle you. You know. You know, nigga. You know. As you say, and you 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 say it so dumb, you don't you don't know how to say it. You don't know when to say it, cause you're a loser. You really don't. You you really ain't about that. And I wish you would shut up saying you are. Cause I don't know nobody. Nobody. Have been to jail so many times that you say you've been to jail. Remember, you said you've been to all the, all so many jails and prisons. You know this, know that, but you say you don't have a record. So what they do? Hot and not not a, um, arresting people for good Samaritan acts. Now that's how you got into all these prisons and jails. Because I'm sorry for somebody that don't got a record. But claim to be all all into the hood and all that stuff. I don't get that. How does that how does that work? It, it goes back to, like always, you snitching. You a snitch. Cause you said it yourself. I have, I have a good record. I ain't trying to let my record get all messed up because of this. Go to prison. But you've been in prison, remember? That's where you learn your 52 from a deck of cards, remember? Oh, or was you lying or was you telling the truth? What's one, bro? You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? So, once again, are you snitching? Because I'm sorry, bro. I don't know, last time I seen a, a person say they went to prison all over you know so I like to know you know how you do it bro how you go through all these prisons and not have a blemish on your record please help me help me with that I would love to do that if I could tell everybody else how to do it but we can get jobs and stuff, you know. People that got records and stuff, you know. Because, Jesus, you're a miracle. You're already the toughest SOB walking, like you said, one of your many money rants. You're the toughest SOB. But got your tail whooped by, by a, a fat guy. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about this one. You got beat up by a 13-year-old kid. And your response to it was, 
He was a 13-year-old that ran his block. A 13-year-old ran his block. <laughs> Bro, you got excuses for everything. <laughs> you got excuses for everything. But you don't have no you, what excuse you use yourself that, that, that tells you, you you're a pussy and you can't fight. What excuse you got for that? What, Illuminati took away your fighting skills? And they said for you not to hit nobody. If you do, they go pitch you in an Illuminati and kill you? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. The government shot you with another airborne pathogen that, that's going to affect your arm movements to f- only in fighting. If you move your arms in fighting, they explode. You said they explode. Because, you know... <laughs> Because, <laughs> you know, like, you say, like, you know, you're the toughest that's will be walking because the government put an airborne pathogen in on you and you and it made you have to pick your nose. Unbelievable. But, see, through my history, you said, remember when you had your glasses on? You said, oh, you know, I'm the toughest that's will be because I had an accident and my jaw was realigned. And I couldn't hardly breathe because my, my thing was swollen. So they had to uh, do something for me to breathe. Remember that? But then, about two weeks ago, you said, no, not two, about a week ago, you said, the reason why you dig up your disgusting, nasty, pussyfied nose is because... A airborne pathogen the government shot you with made because of your jaw being realigned and swollen and you couldn't breathe and you said that's why you have your digging up your nose moments it seemed like every freaking day all day long so loser so which one is it Three options. One, is it because you had airborne passion from the government? And the government said you only could you only can dig up your nose with your disgusting fingers with no tissues, no no toilet paper, nothing. That's option A. Or is it option B? You got the airborne pathogen and you and you was the toughest SOB walking and you beat it because you was tough. And your throat was swollen and everything else, but you still beat it because the government and the Illuminati know that you're on radio. So they try to get you in an accident. That's option B. Option C now. You just a nasty, nose picking, pussyfied, disgusting little weasel slash maggot you are. And a pathological liar. So, what's one going to be, bro? You know what I mean? What's one? What's one, bro? Come on. I mean, remember, we all idiots because you got sixty dollars now, and you gonna show it, and you gonna put that disgusting, um, disgusting West Side, West Side up, <sighs> bro. I hate seeing that crap when you do that crap because it looks so stupid and dumb. And everybody named Mama know you are you are soft, bro. You soft and you're or forgive me. You you soft and a bitch, bro. That's all you are, bro. You don't you 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 always broke. You have never. I mean, never have showed a semblance of a man. Even when, even when you got money, you still look like a, a, a pussy. Cause you know why you dress stupid. You that you that idiot in the mall that goes to the key, kiosk where the dude, the man or woman can barely speak English, but they saying this is. This is nice for you. This is nice for you. You can you you should wear it. You get all the ladies, all the ladies, all the ladies. And your dumb bird self will be like, I know, man, I do get all the ladies. No, darn well, both of y'all lying to each other. 
but he knows you a sucker and you look dumb as a bag of bricks with that stupid necklace on. You know, I mean, bro, think about this. Think about this. You walking around with this big, gawky looking necklace, right? And everybody and their mama know, like, oh, he got that from the kiosk by, by J.C. Penney's or something. You would try to act like, and you have, like it's yours. Like, like you bought it the whole time, and you, and, and it's, and it's real, and, and you, and, and you just, this, this guy that just, just gets it. He just, no, he, you got so much money, you, you just got money to waste. But this is where the stupidity starts and ends. Why are you walking around with that big gawky necklace, but you're walking, walking with a book bag full of your possessions do you understand that bro you are walking walking to the bus stop with this big fake bulky necklace that you just spent all your money on from prostituting you know you prostituting bro sucking meat and your dumb butt goes and buy a necklace Knowing you don't have a single car, a house or apartment, um, um, let's see, what else? You, 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 you don't have food, because if you have food, you wouldn't be, you wouldn't be having to have all those stupid looking to-go boxes in your room. And your little, because once again, that's a homeless shelter because homeless shelters don't, don't, don't trust bums and crackheads and, and, and meth heads because they probably try to sell the, the, the microwave or, or the um, refrigerator. So they don't put that in those rooms. And I notice you 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 are in the same room and you have nothing in there but a TV and a bed and a nightstand. Oh, oh and you said a lamps. Oh, I got lamps. I got George with I got George. I got George with two. George in my dresser. It's pretty cool. You like it's pretty cool. You know. This is better than some apartments, which is a complete, complete lie. I can, oh, 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 you was like, it's pretty cool. I can hang up posters. I can hang up um, uh, posters again. Uh, the skeleton key. Yeah, pretty cool. That's what you be saying. Pretty cool. Y'all busters, y'all wish y'all had. Y'all wish y'all had what I had. So, we wish to be in a shelter with a 19 inch TV <laughs> and a dresser and a bed bro that is modern day prison you have nothing bro you 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 know you say this a lot too oh, I've been in the game for 10 years Telling you what have you done in 10 years? Show me what have you done in 10 years that you you proved that you did done something with your life. I'm waiting. You know, as you say, I'm waiting. Right. You don't got nothing to say, right? Right. Pussy. Like I knew it. Pussies. So, oh yeah, and you say pussies and faggots. Remember that? Who the faggot now, dick sucker? Huh? Who's the faggot now? 
Oh, you don't got nothing to say, huh? Huh? Because we're crapping on y'all, huh? Huh? We're crapping on y'all, huh? 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 Now, let me remind you, you doing all this because you got like sixty dollars in your pocket. Sixty dollars in your pocket, and and to top it off. You are the only person on this planet that bragging about getting an Xbox 360. Bro, those that console is about old as old as those boogers are coming out of your out of your nose. Old as my son. And you know what? I have an Xbox 360. Bro. And I'm only playing it because it's the only console that can play college football. Got college football on it. See, but you were bragging about it. Acting like it was the, the, the latest Xbox, like Xbox 2 or something. And you literally was like, pretty cool. Pretty cool, you know? You know? Pretty cool. I could pay it. posters of... What are you, 13 and y'all just got your new house? Oh, room. Oh, room. Bro, you, 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 you are the epitome of every parent's worst nightmare. That they, that they child will turn out like you. Saying God is the devil. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, that's see, that's another one. Okay, if God is the devil. And you said it. And you say you are an angel. So what does that make you then? Are you a devil too? Because, you know, you say God is a devil. Right? 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 Right, dude? Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. Oh, oh, and AKA, you know what I mean? So, I'm going to leave you with this, bro. I'm never stopping. I'm never stopping. Because as long as you out there doing this crap, I'm going to be right here doing it to back to you. You glorified butthole. And that's exactly how it's going to go down, bro. You are a maggot of maggots. Just remember that. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. I'm still whoop your tail. You're a good loser and you will always be a loser, bro. Please remember that every time you wake up in the morning. You wake up in the morning, look yourself in the mirror and say, I'm a great loser and I'm never going to stop being a great loser. Tell yourself that. You have a better day. Trust me. The quicker you, The quicker you say... And, and, and commit to being a loser, the better your life will be. Because people already don't don't respect you whatsoever. And that's just not coming from me. I'm just being honest with you, bro. You can't name a single person, a single person in your life that truly likes you and cares about you. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm still waiting. Still waiting. <laughs> Bro, I would die before you can before you can name some people. But like I said, bro. It's pretty cool. You going down. I'm taking you down, down, down. The snitch is going down. Down, down, down. The snitch is going down. Loser.